on the road to reopening. When everything shut down at the start of the coronavirus, conventions already planned years in advance in Philadelphia all got canceled. Tens of thousands of visitors not coming. Tens of millions of dollars in lost revenue. But as our Steve Keeley reports, the Pennsylvania Convention Center is making a triumphant return and boosting businesses that revolve around it as well. The Pennsylvania Convention Center is back. Back with its first major event since so many conventions were canceled at the start of the pandemic 16 months ago. Coming back to life inside and helping the city come back to economic life outside, all around the convention center, filling up the hotels, the tourist spots, and the restaurants. That convention center is really an economic engine for this whole town, isn't it? It absolutely is. When it comes alive, the city comes alive. It's very crowded. There's a lot of people. And it's the first time it's really crowded because of the tournament with folks like you in town. Yeah. Oh, it's been terrific. Um, so we were really lucky. We we heard fencing has been really spread out. So we've had a couple days to do some visiting. So we went down the shore. We have been up to our old neighborhood, went to my very old neighborhood that I grew up in, and um, have really just been all over. We're staying, staying in an Airbnb. So we have a nice walk every day to get here. And we just pick a different road every day. So you're like a little economic engine for the whole Philadelphia area. Um, we spent our money, yeah, <laughs> for sure. And after seeing them at their hotel, we then ran into father and son Matt and Alex Jankowicz here inside the Reading Terminal on a break in the competition, where this place too has suddenly sprung back to life this week with the first big event just across Ray Street. And even the market's general manager, Annie Altman, is here working hard on a Sunday morning, delighted that she and her merchants are all so busy again. It's coming back. It is, we are definitely coming back. It's been a great week. We've had a fencing tournament in town, as you know. Um, so we've had a ton of kids and, and uh, athletes walking through the market, um, which has been great. With the Pennsylvania Convention Center, with a first big event since the pandemic, do you notice the difference? Oh, definitely. It's getting a lot busier, and it's, it's good to see like, the place coming back to normal. And it just feels so good to see everyone and businesses booming, and it's nice to see that our food is being represented. There's nothing like Central American anywhere near here, so it's a really good business. Visitors from far and wide will be taking home positive talk of Philly far and wide, too. I brought my wife and daughter for camp, and my, my wife, she was visiting a couple of museums. She was amazed. She was amazed. So your family's probably going to talk highly of Philadelphia when you go back home. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, it's a nice city. It's a very, very nice historical city, yeah. It's very nice. And having the fencing championships here is a good way to show off the city and, uh, sure. and have the restaurants and hotels come back from the pandemic. Well, absolutely, yeah, for sure. It's uh, a lot of people, you know, uh, visiting, spending money, you know, economy hopefully is up. And so the center of Philly's economic universe is like a sun shining brightly again. And to that, everybody here for this tournament says... Touche. In Center City, Steve Keeler, Fox 29 News.